Hey, what's up everybody? Dan here with Total Shape, and I'm making this really short video covering a topic that is not often spoken about because it's not often really understood. And it's the topic of visualization for physical training. Let me tell you something, whether it's Navy SEALs, the military, high level military, whether it is professional athletes, visualization has been top of the line as far as like priority and being used as a tool for decades. And for some reason, a lot of us just think of it as like woo woo or like, you know, doing affirmations and, you know, thinking the universe is gonna, you know, I see a million dollars and you're gonna open your eyes and the universe is gonna put a million dollars in front of you. It's not that woo, it's actually complete science. They've done all different kinds of studies with athletes specifically and you know, basketball players, they'll separate into three groups. One group will practice their field goal shooting or just you know, basic shooting skills, only physical practice. Another group will, won't practice their shots at all. And another, prep, another group will only visualize mentally practicing, making the shot in their mind over and over again. And guess what? As you could probably guess, the group of basketball players that didn't practice at all, their field goal percentage or their accuracy percentage went down. The group that trained physically went up, let's say like 10% accuracy from their physical practice. But guess what? I don't know the exact numbers, so, so don't quote me on this, but let's just say that the basketball players practicing physically increased 10% in their accuracy. The group that practiced only mentally increased about Eight. So only a 2% differential, meaning they almost got the same benefits as physical training, but they're only using their mind because the body doesn't know the difference between an imagined experience and an actual lived one. Now, how does that carry over into actual physical training, just lifting at the gym? Not all of us are athletes, right? Well, they've actually done studies with this as well. And what they've done is they've hooked up people to all these different, like, you know, body scanning, you know, do those things they stick on your body, whatever they, whatever they're called. And they'll have people do a certain exercise, right? Let's just say it's a basic bench press, you know, flat bench press, a guy just doing it these and they can measure with these instruments how much muscle fibers are being recruited right then they'll have a person visualize the exercise imagine getting maximal contraction on their chest using less of their triceps less of their shoulders and maximally using their chest right and they'll visualize it perfect form even doing a heavier weight that they're used to and what will happen lo and behold after two minutes of visualization, they'll go and do the exercise and they will lift heavier than they previously could. They will lift with better form. And the most important thing is they will literally recruit more fibers and have more muscle activation than they did in their prior set. Okay, so this is a real thing. So when you go to the gym, you know, you don't want to look weird like you're a monk meditating in between sets, but just literally stare down at the floor and you're sitting at the bench getting ready for your next set. And literally, instead of just looking on your phone, checking out TikTok, okay, looking at some nonsense on Instagram, literally visualize your next set. Imagine going down perfect form. Imagine pushing and getting all of your chest muscle to recruit. I've tried a bunch of different visualization techniques. They really, really, really work. Not just for muscle contraction, even for form and i swear to you even strength tell your buddy spotting you to just like you know when you're not expecting it when you're not looking to throw 10 more pounds on each side and see if you feel the difference you probably won't if you're visualizing because you just you're priming your muscles so much and you're giving your body almost like extra priming via a mental method it's phenomenal how this stuff works you don't believe me try it yourself navy seals and u.s olympic athletes can't be wrong here so again visualizing for training really can work. I just wanted to make a very short video. You can Google methods on your own, but I just wanted to make this short video for you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.